In this video, I am going to review one of my local French bakeries. They're called um, Au Pas uh, de Papi. And um, they are local, but it's taken me several years before I could actually taste um, some of their gorgeous uh, baked um, goods. Look at this. And the reason why um, it took me years to actually be able to get hold of any of these pastries is because they're incredibly popular. And every time I would walk past this um, bakery in the afternoon, everything everything was sold out and the bakery was shut. So I wasn't even sure if it was open. But it is because it's so popular um, that they literally are open um, during the morning and maybe early afternoon and then the shop is closed uh, because everything is sold out. But uh, today I was able to order some of their gorgeous um, pastries um, using Deliveroo. And I did this in the morning so that I could actually try some of it. Um, so I'm ever so pleased um, because everything looks absolutely amazing. So I've ordered some um, pear and almond uh, tarts. This one is a um, passion fruit um, tart. And this um, is called um, um, French uh, uh, Paris, uh, Paris Breast. Um, I've heard of this um, pastry, but I've never actually tried it, so I really look forward to it. So, and in addition to these gorgeous, um, delicious pastries, I ordered a baguette. So this is going to be a standard baguette. It, it is quite nice. It's soft and, and gorgeous. Um, so um, they, they do offer other things in there, but I think this is what I wanted to start with, to try and... Um, I'll make good use of the baguette and these pastries. They look absolutely amazing. So, and later in this video, I'm going to show you their website. Apparently, this uh, patisserie is a really authentic um, patisserie run by people from uh, the province region of France. And they're not your chain like um, Paul or Pret. These are actually run by... Um, it's a family-run patisserie, and apparently people from all over London, if not UK, come to this patisserie to, to try their baked um, goods. So um, I'm sure you will enjoy them too. I'll show you the website later and what else they're selling. So here we are. Here's our French bakery. This is their delivery page, which I used um, to order my my pastries from them and um, they start with um, a typical obviously French croissant um, uh, pain chocolat um, almond um, um, mm, this is almond some kind of biscuit um, I must say I, I've not tried these um, items I will show you what I did try but this one looks very interesting so this looks like um, a cookie or a biscuit so this one contains Eggs, gluten, milk, um, including lactose, nuts. It's very good that they actually include um, <clears throat> such detailed information, including lactose. I am actually, um, I've just discovered that I'm not very good um, in um, processing lactose. Um, I'm not like completely allergic, you know, I can have it, I can eat it, it's not going to cause like allergic reaction or anything horrible. Um, but it can still make um, make my digestive system uncomfortable. So, for example, if I want to choose not to overload myself with lactose, it's good to know. So, and it's good that I didn't get these, <laughs> because they do contain lactose. Um, okay, and uh, let's see if this one contains, yeah, including lactose, so this one contains. But you know what would be also even better? Um, would be for them to actually include how much lactose, let's say in percentage terms. Because croissant, from what I know, is mainly, um, it's very buttery, so it's got a lot of butter and it's got wheat. And obviously, obviously gluten and, and fat will be two really big ingredients here. Um, and I imagine milk and eggs and lactose will be on the, on the, at the bottom, really. And it would be good to actually see percentages because, um, let's say, well, yeah, I, I, I don't generally like lactose. I'm not good at digesting it. But I still like croissants, and they don't cause too much trouble for me. I suspect lactose content here is very small. But that's something to think about, really. Um, so, okay, well, let's go to their next um menu um section so baguette i did order their baguette and it was absolutely amazing delicious let's see what um they say about baguette contains gluten okay well so no lactose <laughs> that's good to know 
Uh, I did order this um, petit uh, champagne. Well, I I, I started pronoun- uh, you know reading it as champagne, <laughs> but this is not champagne. <laughs> it's not a champagne a bun. It's it's campaign. Um, so a little campaign. This little campaign is really delicious. Um, it's like a baguette, but it's in this round shape, and it is quite large actually. And I have to say, it's when it arrived, it arrived warm, so it came straight out of their um, uh, uh, from their baking tray. So I was really pleased; it was really good. And they've got a grand campaign, grand champagne, <laughs> as I like to call it. Uh, so I guess this one is even bigger. You know what? If you look at these photos, um, you might think this one is large, and you know what? It is quite large when it arrived. Um, this will feed two or three people easily. Um, on a on a single day, but if if they say this is grand, uh, so this potentially could be very large. Okay, and now to my very b- lovely section pastries. This is what I did order. So I did order their almond um, and pear tart, and it seems to be their trademark uh, because it's really really beautiful. I did order it, and it was absolutely delicious and gorgeous. So it contains eggs, gluten, milk, including lactose and nuts. Well, I've had loads. Well, I've had two at a time and um, I didn't feel sick or anything. So I suspect lactose content there is relatively small. And nuts. Mm, it's good to know. Um, so what else I tried? Oh, yeah, I tried this um, Paris breast, which was very interesting. It's like a clair, but in a donut shape. Inside this eclair, there's delicious cream. So that's what they say. Pastry filled with hazelnut uh, cream and some... Yeah, so it is a very nice, light, delicious cream. And I suspect this one will contain more lactose because that cream will be like milk-based cream. So, yeah. Then I also tried this passion fruit tart and you know this was also absolutely amazing um they all contain lactose unfortunately for me <laughs> but um but i suspect the content here maybe won't be too big too large um because i felt really wonderful after eating it so what i didn't try is this flan and i imagine this flan will will have the highest lactose content um They've got also macaroons and um, chocolate ghettos. This is a section I also didn't try, um, but let's have a look what they've got here. They've got sandwich, um, a delicious um, baguette-based sandwiches. They've got um, cheese on toast, which is lovely, looking very delicious. Um, yeah, nice, very good. Um, and what else does it have? It's got mustard. Oh, that's interesting. So <clears throat> eggs, gluten, milk including lactose and mustard. Hmm. Okay. Um, They've got pizzas, ham and cheese croissant. Um, What is this? It looks like a pizza, but they call it something else. Flam quiche. Quiche or something. Okay, flam quiche. Um, Thin crispy bread base with onions, bacon and cream. Creme fraiche. Well, I guess this is a French version of pizza. Some kind of quiche that looks like a pizza. You know, I should try it (laughs) because it looks enticing and intriguing at the same time. Because it looks like a pizza, but it's not pizza. It's a French mm, French bread um, prepared in the style of pizza. Interesting. (coughs) Ham, butter, um, cheese. Oh, that's more. Oh, yeah, and they've got these whole cakes. Chocolate cake. Looks lovely. Um looks quite big as well and they offer um, a selection of soft drinks interestingly <clears throat> they also offer these fruit juices and i did try a number of them so i will do a quick review um because these fruit juices they're in glass bottles and they're called nectars and you know what for a good reason because they do taste like a nectar so this is not your typical juice i did try i didn't try banana but i did try carrot juice carrot juice was like your typical carrot juice good quality um, I really liked it. It was very good. I, I finished this glass in, in one go. It was that good. Then um, <coughs> then I tried lychee. Yeah, this was delicious. And you know what? It wasn't as sweet as your supermarket lychee. Yeah, so from France. Yeah, it's a French um, lychee, lychee nectar. 
I also tried tomato juice, which was delicious, and pomegranate, which was absolutely fantastic. I really, really liked it, and it is quite popular here. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So I do recommend. And also they've got chocolate, which looks amazing, and some baking ingredients even. And also in conclusion, I will say that this um, bakery has its own website. It offers pre pretty much the same selection of um, baked goods and other things as you've seen on this delivery website. Only um, on their website, I couldn't figure out how delivery is arranged and whether you can order um, from, let's say, up from outside their catchment area. And I mean their catchment area would be their local area. And I am in their local area, so delivery delivers, delivers to me. Whereas from their website, it's not quite clear. Maybe they deliver also longer distances directly from their website. But that's my review of this beautiful French bakery, which I'm, I'm so glad I discovered. Um, I hope you liked it. Please do share your own um, uh, hints about your own local bakeries and what they deliver. And if they deliver a little further... Um, away from their location. That would be really helpful. In the meantime, let me wish you bon appétit and we'll chat again soon.